Today I'm going to show you Wolf Creek, which is near Fayetteville, West Virginia. I rode here two days ago with a local that I met here, and uh, today I'm going to bring the GoPro and just show you these trails. So they're pretty cool. They're kind of cross country, but then there's technical sections, and there's one really technical black diamond that is just rock gardens, like where you have no momentum. It's not downhill, so it's pretty challenging. Uh, but this is a really fun trail system. Uh, so again, I'll just kind of show you around here. There's a van with a Velocirax, and I think that's a transition scout. Nice. All right, so we're going to start here. I don't even know the name of this trailhead. It's kind of the one that's about a quarter mile past the brewery. Bridge Works, I think it's called. So this is a trail called Marauder. It's a green trail. This is what the locals refer to as the inner loop, but it's a lot of fun. Really flowy. Good warm up loop. Soil is in really good shape. They had some rain last weekend. It's dried out. Super good conditions. So the bike I'm riding today is the Transition Spur. And it's some rain last night. <laughs> Actually, the trails are in better shape than when I rode them. They're not dry at all right now. It did rain just a little bit last night. So yeah, Transition Spur. Down country bike. Perfect for these trails. I thought about bringing my Endura bike up for this trip, but I'm glad I didn't because it would have been overkill for these. So what we'll do is we'll do this inner loop for a little while and then we'll jump on a trail called Corona, which is again what the locals refer to as the outer loop. So these trails have very little sustained climbs and descents. It's kind of just up and down, decent elevation change. It's just not constant. I would say, you know, a couple minutes of descending, you know, maybe five, seven minutes of climbing at a time, but it's just mainly rolling. Arrowhead, which is real close to here, is very similar. I rode there a few days ago. Very similar to this, a little less technical. This place, like I said, has some technical sections, but overall, except for that one black diamond trail, overall, it's not very technical. Okay, so now we're turning off of the Green Trail Marauder onto Corona. This is the blue one, Outer Loop. This one's much longer than the green one. It's just a little more technical. Got some log hops. Some root gardens, some rock gardens, but not very technical other than that. Corona is also a little more twisty than the Green Trail. So here's a little black diamond spur off of Corona. It's got a drop. Pretty easy drop, in case you're interested in doing it. It's about, I don't know, three, four foot drop. We've got some mud. Guess had more rain last night than I thought. 
Another little black diamond spur. I think this one's just rock garden. Yep. Fairly chunky. Probably the toughest section on this trail. Thought those rocks might be more slippery than they were. Not too bad. I didn't know that bird was coming. Did not hit that right. A little rock art. These trails are so well built. <laughs> That's fun. Pedal strike. Yep, we're on the transition spur. <laughs> That's why that black diamond trail that I did was pretty challenging on this bike. Because you had to, oh, what is this? Oh, rock garden. I can't remember if I did this last time. Yeah, I had to, had to pedal over these rocks. And the bottom bracket is so low on this bike. Oh, this is a cool rock garden. I forgot about this. So, gotta be careful. Oh, bottom bracket hit. <laughs> it's great when you're going downhill, but when you're pedaling over chunky stuff, gotta be careful. On a pretty good climb here. Like I said, even though it's not sustained climbs or descents, Still get some pretty good short ones. Here's another little black diamond spur off of this trail. It's got a rock roll. It's pretty fun. Gotta hit it slow because I forgot where the bridge is. Let's see. Where's the bridge? Oh, there it is back over here and do this to the right of this rock roll is Huck Jaeger which we're not gonna do go. so that's the rock roll we just did not too bad and there's Huck Jaeger you got to huck up that rock these trails are really well marked like every time there's a technical feature on this blue trail there's a bypass to go around it like those rock gardens back there or this little section with those rocks. I'm using trail forks to map my ride and see where I'm at on the trail, but you just have it map and kind of memorize it. There's not a lot of intersections. I always recommend using trail forks though when you're on a new trail. It's one of the most valuable apps when I travel for mountain biking to new places. Here's a little rock garden feature. Forgot what this one's like. Yeah, this trail has some good little sections off of it that are not too technical, but still a lot of fun like that rock garden we just did.
trails are a little damp right now. I'm being careful on the corners, on the roots and the leaves. That rock I just did is a little, I forgot about it. It's a roll, but you don't see the roll until you're right over it. You have this split second of, oh shoot, I gotta, I gotta hop this one. You can roll it. Another little black diamond spur off of this trail. Just a few rocks there. Oh, a few more here. Oh, skinny. There we go. There's a bunch of skinnies on this section. Skinnies are a real good lesson in looking where you want to go. <laughs> That's the one I came off when I was riding here a couple days ago. I clipped out and rolled into the mud on the side of it. I'm not too prideful to admit my failures. Went to the edge of that one. All right, which way do I gotta go here? I actually gotta check the map. So we had to go right after that alternate section. So that black diamond alternate off of Corona is the longest one off of the trail. So the way I did it starts off with a rock garden or two, a little rock roll, and then four skinnies. And those skinnies were really well built just high enough to be a little sketchy but not too high where you'd really get hurt if you came off unless you hit your hand on it which the buddy that i rode with the other day said one of his riding partners fell off and hit their hand on the log and broke their wrist so even skinnies aren't too high you still got to be careful really what you do is if you feel like you're coming off you can either clip out and step on the log or better yet bunny hop off to the side which is usually what i do you kind of know when you're coming off and you really just got to practice looking straight ahead but when your balance starts to get off and you start to go to one side you pretty much know it that's when you bunny hop off and save it
so I said that these trails are really well marked they cross some double track ATV trails like right there and it's easy to find to just go straight on the single track I'm going to break this video of Riding Wolf Creek up into two videos. So this is part one. Part two will come up shortly. Part two will have Moonshine Hollow, which has a ton of rock gardens that you got to pedal through. So it's fairly challenging. And by the way, after this ride, I realized my rear shock was a little low in air pressure. So I added like 15 PSI, which helped with some of the pedal strikes that I was getting on the trail. All right. So check out part two coming up shortly. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching.